Stockpile Hobbies. Welcome back to Stockpile Hobbies. My name is Steve. Uh, I just got went and got the mail, and there was another surprise waiting for me. I quickly looked, and I noticed what was in the bubble wrap, and I'm like, oh, this is another piece of the puzzle to the Stunicon race team. So everything's still the way it was when I was filming the, the video for the Stunicons here, and we also had the live stream, so we got some Viper here cars here to repair. Uh, everything is all just crazy. I got the two RC trucks we just filmed for the off the shelf and the racetrack. There's just crashed night glow cars everywhere and, and other things. And uh, everyone likes to come over to race, you know, but I'm, I'm the one that's got to clean it all up every time, right? <laughs> Even over here. I foresee lots of Rainbow High uh, videos in the future. You should all really check that out. You might like what you see. All right, we're just going to go in the way things are set up here. Uh, the first item in here was going to be one of the options I was going to use for one of the team members. Uh, again, I could not find that uh, Porsche 928, but I did find this uh, Porsche 9... I don't remember. I'll, I'll put it in the video there what it is. I forgot, but it's, I can't keep all the Porsche numbers correct. By all means, if you know, leave a comment, but it's the... Uh, it's the AFX Porsche here. It looks really nice. I think this would have been a, a great substitute. The other car I selected to uh, use in place of this one has a flat hood line with the circles in it a, a little bit better. So uh, it still has the same duck tail in the back and it has the hump in the rear as the 928 uh, would have. And uh, secondly, we have something that uh, I have never used before or had. Uh, we have an actual G Plus car, and of course this would become the the donor to the Tyrell, or Tyrell. Okay. So uh, yeah, this thing looks like it's in pretty good condition here. I can't tell, it's just the sticker's wearing off. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, I should customize this guy too, but uh, it would not be for this. We'd use it for something else, but then I need uh, this chassis here. This is the... Uh, the key because this appears to be the only thing that's going to fit uh, this bad boy. Well, let's see. There we go. Uh, tires are as hard as a rock. It looks like it skipped the gear. Yeah, it's skipping a gear. I see that. I think you see it too. I'm going to have to adjust this uh, gear here. Uh, everything else looks okay. Shoes. Actually, not that bad. Yeah, now they're grooved. So, I have another chassis coming too. And you can compare the two. But, uh, let's just see if it runs, right? Oh. Alright, we have life. Good. So that's a good start. Uh, needs a guide pin, obviously. Uh, looks, uh, interesting how to get the front tires out. Looks like they're pushed in the axle, so I'm going to have to pull those out. Hopefully they don't destroy the wheel, but uh, let's get this onto the Tyrell. Alright, so I, I guess I just pull this off. Looks like it's pressed in, I think. Feel like uh, Anakin there in episode one when he's in the pod and it's coming to life the first time and he's like, It's working! It's working! Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, can you see it? It's gonna be, it's gonna be cool. Wow. I figured out what I'm gonna do here, or attempt to do. And if it doesn't work, we'll just uh, buy another body. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna cut the, recut the broken one here, so it has a straight edge going down. 
and I'm going to try to use uh, the, the mounting uh, foil there as the, uh, the guide. So I'm just going to take a little bit down and just get a straight edge or as close to straight as I can get. And then uh, see how about how far I can measure off this edge here to the edge of the wing to get the distance of how much I'll need to trim off of this then to get the right length of the of the uh, spoiler here so and that reminds me I need to uh, take a picture here of the inside of this rig and get this over to John the 3d printer oh, camera went down a little bit so that we can get the purple windshields made great got that sent to him so hopefully we'll have some uh, glass or uh, plastic windows for uh, motor master here as he is known in the, the Stunicon team I think we're going to take a look at the Viper cars here. I think I forgot to put uh, Tyco uh, guide pins in. These are the actual Viper guide pins. They're a little bit fatter in diameter. And the problem on the bank turns is the track narrows. And it's a little too narrow for the Viper pin. So it tends to grab, as we saw in the live stream, and get stuck and wedged in that manner. So, uh, so that is exactly the issue. I know the Bandit here works. We use it in the live stream. I think I did uh, three cars at the beginning, and uh, when I redid the other cars after the three, I don't think I did the guide pins. And we've only really run these down the, uh, the drag strip, a lot of the, the, the newer V-Spec cars I ordered. The older ones, they're uh, pretty already on the racetrack like the Bandit, so that worked. But uh, looking in, it may not show up on camera, but the guide pin here in diameter is thinner than the one here on the, uh, this, uh, that came with the V-Spec. So I'm going to pop this one off. I'm going to check the ones on uh, these as well because I believe these were also having the issue in the in the live stream and uh, we'll get these running. Yep, sure enough, here are the three guide pins from the first three Vipers that I purchased, that I removed, and I didn't, I didn't do it for the other ones that I purchased afterwards. So I'm going to add to this bag, get these off, and somewhere in here I have both AFX and Tyco style pin. I think I misspoke. I think it uses an AFX style pin. Yes, it's AFX. So I got to use my AFX uh, pins, not the Tyco pins. So, <laughs> so yeah, for the Viper cars to go around the bank turns, I go with the standard metal uh, AFX style pin. Nice. I'm just going to snap in. That should do it. And do the other cars and uh, let's see if they go around the track. And I've also just realized that we're missing the Crimson Nightmare chassis from the live stream. It went off the road somewhere during a race in the dark and uh, I don't know where it is. I just looked for it. So I'm going to go rewatch part of that live stream and uh, see where this went off the track and see if I can locate the, uh, the all black uh, matching chassis just like this one. Alright Enzo, let's do it. Two laps. This one's going to win, Bella. The orange or the red? I'm in the red. Enzo's in the orange. Me too, Enzo! Let's go! Who do you think is going to win, Bella? Dad. I'm going to win? I don't know. Enzo's pretty fast. He's in the lead. Yeah. Oh, he got stuck in the mud over there, though. And now he's going to crash. He's going too fast. Oh! Wow! This is the last lap, too. Oh, no! Oh, Enzo got it! Oh, look at that! That's cool! <laughs> Look at you! Look at that, warming up for five minutes. Yeah! Wow! So, uh, yeah, Ezra got the win. He was uh, 21.72 seconds. I was uh, 22.06 seconds. Oh, that was great. I had a lot of fun. That was cool. So, we got the Viper cars working again. Uh, we can use them for all the live streams and our, our videos again. And as you see, we have a, a lot going on here that we got to work on. But uh, it's good to know we got the Viper cars back in action, right, Enzo? Right, Bella? I think Enzo's really excited about the Stunicon team. He's, uh, <laughs> so, yep. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. And keep having fun, everyone. Yeah. And yes, we found the uh, 
the Crimson Nightmare chassis. Uh, I was worried about it, and when I found it though, it was on the cell rack. <laughs> so, I know. <laughs> that's the place to be. <laughs> so uh, Isabella is learning how to slot car race for the first time, right, Bella? Yeah. Yep. Just running it at half trigger, a little bit more, baby. Give it a little more. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. A little more. Oh. Bella, that was very good. You like it? Is it fun? Yeah. Can I try it again? I'm going to go out. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's so nice having someone to run the car so I can film. <laughs> You're an excellent helper. <laughs> yes, I'm a good helper. You're the best. Ah, uh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, you will tap. Oh, you got it. Don't go too fast. Oh, that was cool. You recovered from the spin out. <laughs> We have a, another racer to add to the, the, the charts here. That's awesome, Bella. Hooray! <laughs> Ooh, you have to get a big car on the You like the pretty picture of all the cars? Yeah. Yeah, those are the, the old ones. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I like the fire man. I like the fire one. This one? Yeah. This, the fire one? Yeah. You like this one? Yeah. Light speed, super glow. I like the cute big fire one over there. Yeah. This one too? Yeah. Like the, all the ones with the fire? Yeah. <laughs> and that one more fire. Over yeah, here. over here there's one with fire. Yeah. Here. It's a cat. Yeah, the Corvette has fire on it too. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.